Hello everybody, uh, Mark Early, the Transition Year Coordinator here. It's my pleasure to welcome you all to this year's Festive Fling, our annual Transition Year charity concert in aid of the Blackheart Hospice and in memory of our uh, long-serving colleague, Danny McNeilis. Um, as you'll notice throughout the performance, we have taken every measure possible to make this as COVID friendly um, as we can. We hope you enjoy the show and thank you very much for tuning in. I'll now leave you in the capable hands of our hosts for the evening, Owen and Johnny. Hello everyone and welcome to the Gonzaga College Festival Fling 2020. We are Owen McCormick and Johnny Corr, your MCs for the concert. This year's event looks very different. We recorded this concert in the chapel over two days with all the groups maintaining social distancing for you to watch at home. As they say, there's no place like home. We won't deny that it has been hard, but we think the end result has been worth it. The proceeds from the concert are going to the Black Rock Hospice, so sit back and enjoy. Hey Johnny, what's the best Christmas present you could ever get? I don't know, Owen. A broken drum. You just can't beat it. <laughs> First off, we have the chamber group, made up of students from most years in the school. They rehearse each Monday at 8am. Much of the rehearsal time is given over to good-natured complaints about the repertoire and excuses for not having the sheet music. This year they're going to play Sleigh Ride by Leroy Anderson, arranged by Kenneth Aberlang, and Libertango by Aster Pizzallo, arranged by Miss O'Brien. With these, they were runner-up in the chamber group competition of the Wesley Interschools Festival in 2019. <laughs> Thank you. 
What's the difference between a pizza and a pianist? I don't know. Uh, a pizza can feed a family of four. <laughs> Our next act is fifth year student Stan O'Byrne. Stan is an extremely accomplished pianist, winning many national and international awards and accolades. He, he says though that he is most proud of his role as repertoire to the college choir, where he enjoys playing the same notes over and over. This year Stan will be playing a song. What's Santa's favourite type of music? I don't know. Rap. <laughs> the, the Gonzaga Orchestra consists of students from first to sixth year and usually has the full complement of strings, wind and percussion instruments. But this year we have, we have split the orchestra into two sections, strings and wind instruments, and rehearsed them separately. Both groups are conducted by former graduate of the, of the year 2008, uh, Mr Kevin Corcoran. They will play Deck the Halls and Away in a Manger.
Next is a barbershop quartet of Dan McCown, Kean Morgan, Nicholas O'Neill and Mark Mulvey. The barbershop quartet was set up in October 2019 at the request of then sixth year Tom Higgins. Tom had always had an interest in barbershop music and hoped to perform as a part of a barbershop quartet for his Leaving cer uh, Certificate practical. In response to this, Miss Dunn, Tom's music teacher, and Tom set up the group. The group very quickly uh, began performing in musical events in the school, making their successful debut at the Fest of Fling in 2019. The members can be from any senior year group and are selected through an audition process, with members remaining until they graduate. Next year will be interesting with three places available. Nick doesn't want to be left on his own as a one-man band. This year the group will sing James Pepernot's arrangement of Jingle Bells. Why didn't Rudolph get a very good report card? I don't know. Uh... He went down in history. <laughs> the Scola Cantorum is the sixth year chamber choir. The choir sings anything from liturgical music to pop classics. The aim of the group is for members to have an outlet from the stresses of sixth year while also developing their choral skills. The choir partakes in the many college events requiring music throughout the school year, culminating in their own graduation ceremonies. For this year's festive fling, Scola, as the choir is more commonly known as, is singing a bit of an untraditional Christmas song. The song was written by Noel Gallagher and originally performed by b the band Oasis. For people of a certain age, it might be remembered as the theme tune in the B to the BBC TV show, The Royal Family. However, the majority of Gonzaga students associate it with Christmas because of its use in a 2015 Christmas ad for a well-known British high street chain. In the ad, the song was sung by the Norwegian singer-songwriter Aurora. It is, it, is this ver it is this version that has been used as the basis of the arrangement that the choir will sing. The soloist in, is Max Tempany from Sixth Year. The choir and Max are accompanied on piano by Stan O'Byrne from five, 5C. This old town don't smell too pretty and I can feel the warning signs running around my mind And when I leave this island I book myself into a soul Still scratching around in the same old mold. My body feels young, but my mind is very old. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams that I might anyway. You have the world. Oh, I 
I'd stay, but I just can't stand it and I can feel the warning signs running around my mind If I could leave this spirit, I'd find me a hole and I'll be living in I can feel the warning signs running around So here I go, I'm still scratching around in the same old hole. My body feels young, but my mind is very old. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams that are mine. So here I go, I'm still scratching around in the same old hole. My body feels young, but my mind is very old. So what do you say? You can't give me the dreams that are mine anyway. A friend of mine gave his chimney away for free. He said it was on the house. <laughs> Next is I Wish You a Merry Christmas uh, by the wind section of the orchestra. That was amazing, lads. Next we have the Gonzaga Chamber Choir, consisting of students from third year onwards. The repertoire consists mainly of a cappella music from the Renaissance to modern pop popular styles. They are noted for their interest in vocal groups and their willingness to skip class for important rehearsals. The Chamber Choir will be singing O Magnum Mysterium and Jingle Bell Rock.
Why is it best to think of 2020 like a panther? I don't know. Because eventually it's behind you. <laughs> we are delighted to welcome fresh from their successful tour of the staff room, the staff choir. They assure us that they will come up with something catchy one of these days. Dr. Clark suggested the Dr. Clark and the pipettes, but that didn't go down too well, apparently. They are going to sing an African song, Sayamba, Sayamba and the pentatonic uh, version of The Silent Night. We know, relevant. <laughs>
The trial group are made up of students from all years of the school and meet each Tuesday morning for a jam session to see to, to, such tunes as Saddle the Pony and Fasten the Leg in Hair. They will be playing Jig and Real Set. Did you hear that production was down at Santa's workshop? Many of his workers had to elf isolate. <laughs> Next is pianist Andrew Kelly uh, playing It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas.
Finally, the Gonzaga College Choir consists of third, fourth, fifth and sixth year students. They sing at all college services last year and entered in the very first Wesley Festival and now have a taste for competitive singing and are confident that in the future they will be known for more than the quality of their rugby chants. This year the College Choir will be singing The, board, the Boar's Head Carol. The Boar's Head and Mary be decked with bays and rosemary and the grey my masters be merry what essence it will be The Specialist Palliative Care Unit in Black Rock Hospice opened in September 2003. Annually over 550 new patients are seen by our community home care team with a combined total of almost 12,370 home visits carried out between the two sites. Our day hospice has an excess of 122 new, pa new patients availing of the service with over 800 attendances annually. The Specialist Palliative Care Unit sees over 165 admissions per year. The hospice has close links to all major South Dublin hospitals, including St Vincent's University Hospital, St Michael's Hospital and St Colum Kills Hospital. As well as its South Dublin catchment area, Black Rock Hospice provides day hospice and inpatient unit admissions to the people of County Wicklow. Special thanks to everyone who helped make this evening so successful, including M Mr Damon McCall, Ms Martina O'Neill, Ms. Bernadette Rooney, Mr. Danny Mathieu. Especially thanks to Ms. Rosemary O'Brien, who orchestrated the whole event. Thank you very much for your support. Thanks very much, everybody, for tuning in. Um, and a special thanks to Rosemary O'Brien, whose hard work and effort put this whole show together. Uh, thanks to the two MCs. And uh, thank you all for your generosity. <laughs>